A mechanical ventilator functions to provide gas exchange for a patient until they are able to do it on their own. As a respiratory therapist, we often spend a lot of time focusing on the different ventilator modes, settings, and initiation. But what about mechanical ventilator management? Managing a patient while they are receiving ventilatory support is another very important aspect of mechanical ventilation. So we created this quick video just to give an overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. The main goal of mechanical ventilation is to improve the patient's oxygenation and ventilation. There are certain strategies that can be used to do so, and here are some of the most common examples. In order to improve a patient's oxygenation status during mechanical ventilation, you can consider the following. Increase the FiO2, improve the patient's ventilatory status, improve circulation, initiate CPAP, initiate PEEP, consider airway pressure release ventilation, consider inverse ratio ventilation, or you can consider prone positioning. Of course, other strategies may be used to improve the oxygenation parameters. These are just a few examples. Now let's talk about improving ventilation. In order to improve a patient's ventilation status during mechanical ventilation, you can consider the following. Increase the frequency setting, increase the tidal volume setting, and you can reduce mechanical dead space. Again, other strategies may be used to improve the ventilatory parameters. These are just some of the most common examples. And in severe cases of inadequate oxygenation and or ventilation, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation or ECMO may be indicated. This process involves pumping the patient's blood outside of the body through a machine so that gas exchange can occur and the blood can be oxygenated. We have a detailed video on this topic on our channel, so definitely be sure to check that out if you're interested. But another thing to consider during the management of mechanical ventilation is responding to ventilator alarms. A ventilator alarm is an alert that is designed to let the medical professional know when something is going on with the patient. During mechanical ventilation management, a respiratory therapist must know how to respond to each of the different types of ventilator alarms. Again. We have a full guide and video on this topic that goes into more detail. I'll provide links to everything down below in the description. But moving right along, here are some other things to consider during ventilator management. You will need to monitor the patient's arterial blood gases, keep an eye on the ventilator circuit, you will need to manage and provide care for the artificial airway whether or not it's an endotracheal tube or a trach. Their humidification levels must be managed you should implement ventilator-associated pneumonia prevention strategies, you need to manage their nutrition and diet, manage their fluid balance, and manage their electrolytes as well. Of course, each patient is different, therefore other management considerations may be required depending on their condition. These were just a few of the most common examples to keep in mind during the management of mechanical ventilation. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.